What if I told you cloud computing is like car rental? Cloud computing, cloud computing everywhere. The term cloud computing is used a lot in the media, advertisements, news, and in memes. Cloud computing has continuously been a trending term throughout the last decade. But what does cloud computing mean? Cloud computing is the offering of computing as a service. Consumers can pay the cloud computing service for on demand use of the computing resources. The computing resources could be servers, storage, databases, networking, machine learning, Internet of Things, robotics, or even quantum computing. Let us look at a simple use case of cloud computing. Traditionally, we would have to set up our own computer servers to host websites. With cloud computing, we can leverage cloud services to host the website. We can spin off computer servers on the cloud platform from any of our devices such as workstations, laptops, and mobile devices. Thanks to cloud computing, we don't have to worry about the hardware. We can give all our focus on just the software aspects of running the website. Cloud computing has several analogies with car rental. With car rental, we rent a car whenever we need to use it instead of buying the car. Likewise, with cloud computing, we rent the computing resources instead of buying them. Some of the similarities between car rental and cloud computing include paper use, on demand, low maintenance, wide selection, and scalability. We'll now have a glimpse at each one of these characteristics in detail. On-demand refers to the availability of a resource when a customer asks for it. With car rental, we can rent the car on-demand. Whenever we need a car, we can go to the car rental and rent a car. We can return the car when we don't need it anymore. Analogously, with cloud computing, we can get any computer resource on-demand. For instance, if I need to rent a server, I can get it with few clicks of buttons or with few commands. Paper use is a payment model in which consumer has access to potentially unlimited resources, but only pays for what they use. If we rent a car, we only pay for the duration of the rental and the distance we traveled. To the contrary, if we buy a car, we would be paying the monthly car due even when we are not using the car. Similarly, with cloud computing, we only pay for the computing resources that we use. If we use a cloud server for an hour, we only pay for one hour. The next one is maintenance. With own car, we need to take care of the maintenance, which is time consuming and expensive. On the flip side, we don't have to worry about the maintenance of the rental car as the rental service provider takes care of them. Likewise, with cloud computing, the cloud providers manage the infrastructure, such as running the data centers, setting up and repairing hardware etc. The consumers don't have to deal with the maintenance of the infrastructure. Renting opens the gate for wide selection. With own car, we are kind of stuck with the car that we buy. If we need to get a different car, we need to spend time, effort and resources to sell the car and get a different one. On the other hand with rental, we have a wide selection of cars to choose from. To name a few, we could choose an economy car a luxury car, a van, or a limo. Each time we rent a car, we have the option to try a different one. If we change our mind after renting a car, it's relatively easier to return and rent a different one. Additionally, it's affordable to rent some of the cars that are too expensive to buy. Analogously with cloud computing, we have a wide selection of resource types to choose from. For example, if we need a server, we can select a server that is compute optimized or memory optimized or storage optimized or network optimized based on the requirement. Furthermore, it's easier to try out different configurations of the computing resources to identify the best configuration that satisfies the needs of the workload.
The last one is scalability. Scalability refers to the ability of handling an increased or decreased amount of work by adding or removing resources. With own cars, scaling is challenging and expensive. If we are having guests at our place, it's not practical to buy new cars to accommodate them. However, with rental cars, we can rent a bigger vehicle or rent additional cars for the guests. Once the guests leave, we can return the additional vehicles that we rented. Likewise with cloud computing, we can easily scale the computing resources based on the need. For instance, if you are hosting an e-commerce website on cloud, we can automatically move to a bigger computer or add more resources during Black Friday to meet the increased traffic. As soon as Black Friday is over, we can revert to the original configuration. Now, let us look at some of the market leaders in cloud computing. Amazon Web Services, abbreviated as AWS, has been around since mid-2000s and has been the top market shareholder. Amazon Web Services has hundreds of cloud services. For example, Amazon EC2 is its compute service and Amazon S3 is its object storage service. The second market leader is Microsoft Azure. Azure Virtual Machine and Azure Blob Storage or Azure's Compute and Object Storage Services, respectively. Google Cloud Platform, abbreviated as GCP, is the third leader in cloud computing. GCP's cloud service is called Cloud Compute and its object storage is called Cloud Storage. I would like to end this video with a thought-provoking meme. Companies can leverage cloud computing to stop worrying about IT infrastructure and just focus on their core business.